What is up guys, 7 Savage here. Today we are gonna be installing these solar panels right here onto the top of our Sprinter van. All right guys, so there are three main components that we're gonna be using to install these solar panels onto the top of the roof. The first of which are the solar panels themselves. They're each 100 watt Renogy Eclipse solar panels. I'll put them in the link in the description below. Um, we're gonna be using these 80-20 aluminum extrusions that fit directly into these mounts that go directly onto the OEM um, rail system that we installed in one of our previous videos. You can check out uh, the roof rail install video on my channel for uh, links to those roof rails that I used. So the first thing we're gonna do is bolt these three solar panels together. I'm gonna put three bolts between each panel and uh, put a nut on the other side. I'm gonna tighten it down um, to make this set three solar panels into one solar array. All right, so now that we've got our holes and we verify that they're all lined up, all we've gotta do is slip our bolts in. They go through to the other side and we uh, twist on the old washer. No, not, it's not a washer, this, this is a nut. We twist on the old nut. And we're good. So I'm gonna finish putting this solar panel array together and then uh, I'll catch up with you guys on the next step. So the next step, we're going to be adding these fasteners <coughs> to the outside of our newly formed solar panel array. These fasteners are gonna plug straight into the 8020 crossbars. We wanna get these things drilled in so that we can test fit the 8020 crossbars and make sure that uh, they fasten to the sides. All right, good stuff. Now that that's all squared away, we can uh, go ahead and cut these 8020 crossbars. So we've got the 8020 crossbar lined up on the old miter saw and we've marked it right at 46 inches. Cool, we've got our 46 inch length piece of uh, aluminum extrusion and now we need to tap a threaded hole in the end so that we can attach it to the roof mounting bracket. All right, so after I put the panels together, um, I realized that just the bolts in between each one of the panels isn't enough to uh, make it rigid and strong. So what I did is I ordered another piece of 8020 that I'm gonna put on that side and one that I'm gonna put on that side um, to, to reinforce like the structural rigidity on each side. So let's go ahead and cut those now. There we have it. We've attached all three of the solar panels together and we've put uh, reinforcement on all four sides with the 8020 aluminum. Just wanted to show you guys a close up overview of what the 8020 reinforcements look like. Um, they're screwed in on the sides with one piece and then screwed in on the front and the back with another piece. So we've got it on all four sides. Looks pretty dang good if you ask me. All right, so we're on top of the roof now, um, getting ready to mount our wire housing here. It's gonna face this direction. Uh, this wire housing I just got on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Um, it's running our Renogy adapter with some 20 foot 10 gauge cables. It's gonna connect directly to the solar panel array. We are going to glue down the wire housing with some 3M window weld, and then we're gonna seal all the edges with Dicor lap seal to make it watertight. I might gone a little crazy with the lap sealant, but at least it'll stick around for a while uh, and stay watertight. Um, it's about to rain for six days, so got this done just in the nick of time. All right guys, at the top of the van here, and as you can see, these solar panels are finally installed. Uh, they are looking awesome. They're super, super sturdy with this extra reinforcement that I put on here, and I'm pretty stoked to use them. So I just wanna give you a perspective of what it looks like from the outside of the van when you're on the floor. Right now I'm on this giant ladder. So 
as we walk down to the ground, we keep this camera ow, right at head height. And uh, as you can see, they're pretty low profile. It's really hard to see that there's really anything there except for just the edges of it. So unless you really know what you're looking for, uh, this van's gonna be fairly stealth. Minus the big beefy tires and stuff. So overall, just wanted to give you a review of how uh, this install went. So it was pretty straightforward. Uh, honestly, the most difficult or stressful part was drilling the holes into the roof and doing the, uh, the wire mounting bracket. Other than that, I mean, you just cut some aluminum with a miter saw. You gotta make sure to make pretty precise measurements. And uh, same thing when you're measuring where to drill the holes into the side of the aluminum frames on the sides of the solar panels. Uh, but overall, pretty easy. I'd say, you know, this is probably one of the things that you should start with when you're working on your van. Um, and it's very rewarding. I mean, I can go in there now and power a pretty beefy electrical system. So, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I've also attached my Instagram profile in the, in the description below. Uh, if you're wondering where I am in these weeks that go by where I don't post videos, I post on Instagram pretty much every day. So. Uh, go toss me a follow there and you can stay up to date with um, more in-depth uh, status of where I'm at. Alright guys, how are we going?